<clears throat> Hi, <clears throat> my name is Myra Branham Hatfield. I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm screaming. <laughs> the audio on this laptop really doesn't work very well. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm from Delville, Indiana. You know, that one place John Dillinger robbed. Yeah, that's where I'm from. That's where my, uh, I was raised. My grandfather built that house. He moved up here from Kentucky, him and my grandmother. And they had children, lots of them. <laughs> and by the time I came along, you know, John Dillinger had already robbed that place. <laughs> so I didn't know nothing about it, but um, until I learned it. A history book. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I um, am a freshman at Ball State University, and this is a dream come true for me. <laughs> I live in an RV. <laughs> I will never pay rent. <laughs> ah, property owners. No. I won't deal with them. I love living in an RV. This is such a dream come true for me. I'm studying, majoring in legal studies, and I want to get my law degree at IU once I finish and get my bachelor's degree at Ball State. I went to go to grad school at uh, Indiana University to get my law degree. I hope that happens. That is my dream and what I really want to do. I'm minoring in psychology. I love psychology and I'm pretty good at it. Um, okay, I have much experience. I'm working with people. I don't know. It's just a natural gift. I love people. I'm a people person. Uh, uh, naturally a people pleaser too but I really do not uh, put myself out there to where you know I don't have enough to get. but uh, I have three boys my middle son is autistic and his son is autistic I have five grandchildren three granddaughters and two grandsons one of them have, has autism as far as we know um, I used to teach Modeling, I used to, uh, in my immature days, I had a modeling school in 1996, 97, and 98. I had Myra's Professional School of Modeling. <laughs> yes. And I taught at the YWCA, and I had mm, about mm, seven girls that were teenagers. Uh, that came to my classes every Wednesday, and we stayed there, um, I believe it was two hours every every week. And I, you know, um, I just taught out of uh, the professional model's handbook. It was a textbook, and that's what I did. Um, I enjoyed working with them. Um, I loved being teaching them how to be a wool model. That was important. It's very much up my alley, like very much up the, the very much similar to being a guidance counselor in a certain type of way. <laughs> um, I did volunteer at MAPA in 2009, 2010, and 2011 as well. Um, it was a prison reentry program. When I left, they had hired um, a counselor that or a, a person that had had a college to an associate's degree in um, counseling drug abuse counseling, and they had uh, come up with a rehabilitation program prison reentry program for uh, shelter for women and for men they had the Conley house and then they had the lighthouse and there was two churches that had merged together and I had left and they began to take over the wayside mission and um, uh, so, um, but I did have two years of experience before they did that, before they went, you know, merged with it, um, <laughs> before she came, I took over, she's doing a great job, right, I've got other things to do, <laughs> I'm not angry, <laughs> okay, so two fun facts about me, live in an RV, I think I said that, <laughs> love it. Okay, I love living in an RV. <laughs> um, I have written two books already. 
I wrote, I wrote one in 2018 and one in 2019. They are not published yet, but they are copyrighted. Um, and I have a YouTube channel. I write music. I write the music and the, the lyrics. And uh, they are homemade videos posted and published on YouTube. You can find me under Tuesday Adams. Um, for six months to eight months before I started college, um, I was doing Friday night feature film every week, every Friday with your host, Tuesday Adams. That was me. Um, and I was, I was trying to connect with my children and my grandchildren. It was a horror movie, so, but, yeah, I'm strange. But, you know what? My kids are my kids. The Autumns family is strange. Everybody fits. Even if they don't fit. So, but anyway, yeah. So, yeah. So, I, I, so you'll find my music on YouTube. I do have a podcast channel, too. I kind of got interrupted with that. I was going to start a podcast and do that every week. But the first interview that I had was with a mechanic that I had, you know, made an arrangement with that he, you know, I was going to pay him to put a motor in my convertible. And my convertible got stolen. Uh, that kind of put a damper on everything. and I really have not done a podcast since. But I still intend to do it. I should not have let that get to me. But, you know, when, you know, somebody steals your car and then they're like, I don't know where it went. You know, that's, <laughs> it hit me hard. Okay, because, you know, I spent a lot of money on that car and I love that car. I didn't even get a drive it because I just got it. Right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so um, but I enjoy this class, and I am looking forward to the next five weeks studying with you and learning and growing with you and um, getting to know you and learning about being a counselor. I think this is a wonderful opportunity for me, and um, I look forward to it. So um, I'm very happy to meet you.